Hello. Okay, where did we left off? Okay, I think, yeah, where we're doing, uh... Yeah, we're about... Yeah, we're doing, like, the shooting script. Okay, so... Right now, we're checking if we have some bullets in our magazine, and we're checking if we can fire. Okay. One thing I forgot was to update the the firing variable every step. So this is just going to be increasing by one, and then it checks if it's greater than rate. If it's if it is, you shoot, and it sets it back to zero. So like it takes like a quarter of a second to fill up, and then it sets it back to zero. So you can't just like shoot a bullet every frame. You have to at least wait like a quarter of a second. Okay. So after we get those out of the way, now we're going to actually create the bullet. And I like to create, put that bullet in a little variable first. So B equals instance create. And oh yeah. I'm going to do X plus length direction. You don't have to do this length direction stuff. If it's looking confusing, you don't have to. Basically what it does, it just shoots, I'm going to try to make it shoot like in, at the tip of the man, the man's line, like the tip of the man's nose or something like that. Or like, usually in top down shooters you want it to shoot like right out of the muzzle of the gun, or the barrel of the gun, yeah. Instead of like out of his nose, <laughs> the center of his nose, so yeah. Okay, so the length is going to be 16, that's half, the, that's the radius of the sprite, and its direction is going to be image angle. Okay, same thing for y. Okay, let's change this to y, y, and... Like, if your gun was offset it by, by like, three degrees, and it was like 17 pixels away from the center you can do like 3 and then this would be 17 and then you would have to do the same thing for the x like direction but that's not the case it's you want it to shoot exactly in front of the man and it's exactly 16 pixels away okay so now we want to create an, a bullet so we're going to call object bullet and put a grouping thing there Okay, so now we have to set some variables. So b dot speed. Ah, gosh. Oh, let's make another variable built into the man. We're gonna call this bullet speed. B speed. So this is how fast the bullet will travel. I'm going to set it to 30 for now. This is actually sort of fast, but it doesn't matter because it's uh, its length is 32 pixels, so the collision will still work. Oh wrong script. <laughs> okay, so speed will equal bullet speed. So, like, if we have multiple places where we want to call bullet speed, we don't have to, like, go through all our code and then change a number. We just go to this one variable that's at the create event and change that. So it makes it easier uh, for us in the future. Okay, so now we have to set the direction. So bullet dot direction equals image angle. So we're going to set the bullet direction equal to wherever you're facing. That's sort of obvious. We, we want it to shoot where we're pointing. Okay, I think that's it. Oh yeah, bullet dot damage. So bullet dot damage. So we're going to create a new variable called damage and we're going to make that equal to our damage that we want to make in the man. And I haven't made that variable yet, so damage equals to how much damage you have. So let's just set it to, I don't know, 5. It's we're just setting numbers right now. And actually, you know, we have to have like uh, one event I forgot in our bullet. If it's outside the room, we want to uh, destroy it. And I'm just going to use this block just so I can visually see it, and it makes it easier for me. Okay, but 
in code that would be instance destroy instance underscore destroy okay let's go test that see for oh yeah my video is uploading I'll just have the minecraft homepage background okay oh yeah I forgot something as you can tell look it's like a bar it's shooting a bar okay I forgot you see it's pretty much working except like the sprite isn't pointing the right direction because I forgot to set the image angle so it's pretty much the same thing so except this B dot image image angle okay we can okay, set that it should work now okay oh gosh okay so that's working fairly well and as you can see it looks like it's being created right from the tip of the guide oh and my ammo ran out because I can't shoot anymore okay so that's working as well so just to oh yeah usually when I make any game I just create a object I forgot to do that called control usually this takes care of all like the HUD stuff but if it the HUD gets too big and stuff I create another object called object HUD or like object draw or something like that okay but I'm just gonna have this draw the ammo the man's ammo okay so uh, draw text uh, we're gonna create this at the top corner and its string is just gonna be the man's ammo okay oh actually no it if we want to make it a little fancier oh yes this function called string what I'm using right now is basically just converts a variable or a number whatever into a string so create this little fancy HUD right now not really okay object man dot max ammo okay so what we did right there was it just basically gonna display the ammo and uh, the max ammo right next to each other divided by slash okay so oh yeah that's the same object yeah so let's go ahead to test that oh yeah uh, if you think I'm like testing <laughs> debugging too much uh, please tell me I like to debug just to make sure everything is like working properly and apparently it's not because I forgot to put the object onto the into the room which is a pretty sad mistake okay well this video is taking a long time even though I haven't even explained that much okay so as you can see like in the top right left corner you can see like 32 and 32 that's the ammo you have 32 bullets out of 32 bullets and when I start shooting it it starts decreasing yeah and so once I run out of this I can't shoot anymore no my bullets are all gone okay so yeah we're done with that you know I probably should end this pretty soon so I think next uh, what should I go over in next tutorial? Huh. I think uh, I, we're gonna create like enemies and stuff like that. I think that's gonna be the next thing is to create actually an enemy. Okay, and maybe later we'll get into it like the A star pathfinding, but that will be a little more complicated to code. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching, and please, if it would be great if you took like half a just a half a second to press the like button, like. It's just, all you have to do is press it, and that will help me a lot, and show your appreciation. Thank you. Bye.